Okay, I'm back. So right now we're about to show you my my first crumbled in area before I started getting real creative. So this was just me in the beginning learning how to play the game. Say hello again. Yeah. Alright, boss says hello. Yeah. Quick flyover, so this is crumbled in. Nothing great. I did the bare minimums for the game. Uh go ahead. Alright, so originally when you start the game this would have been an area where the treasure where the boxes were and uh, Goldie used to sit here right in front of the bar so the bar never changes I, I, I never really changed the stock bar because this bench doesn't move I tried and it's permanent it's stuck here one of these chairs is also permanent so I should put it back where it was you have the iron smith next to this building so I saw a picture of this building on Google one time and I thought hey why not take my shot at building this thing so what I did here was I um I made a small do dormitory that the, the NPCs want windows on all sides so you can see it doesn't feel cramped come in here another dorms so three dorms next to each other so that's the first floor I have these logs here that I've collected from the area around us and um, stairways leading up to the second floor so this used to be Bab's room but since Bab left I reassigned the room to another NPC so they will use it over here is the fancy dorm that they wanted you to build so I just made it all gold so they're right next to each other it's kind of tacky but you know what doesn't matter you can see the area where I got the logs from so I, I went around collecting logs off of this area right here so that's where I got my logs from I didn't use all of them obviously but it's whatever I made this building right here this is the tiny relaxation room I put a real bed in here instead of that straw bed that they wanted you to put in here Over here is the small pumping station, so their little gym workout area. Here is the mushroom cook room. I pretty much kept it in the same spot that the fire was in at the beginning. Uh, the toilet is still here. Never really did anything with the toilet, I just left it where it was. Actually, the toilet used to be over here, but I relocated it here in the corner you go upstairs here to this side to the top floor this is the small scenic shower room I got two of them next to each other I didn't want one giant room so I made two different ones so the NPCs when they line up they don't line up just for one room they line up for both over here I made a little stairway up to the bar area that used to be here. So the gold bar is destroyed now. I um I took the parts off of this bar and took them back to the island of awakening. Um this is stuff that I needed for the island of awakening. I took it off of this bar. I'll probably come back to repair it later, who knows. I might just leave it the way it is and forget this game. But that's the upstairs gold bar area and then down here is the silver bar nothing special all I did was follow the blueprint that the game gives you tucked here in the corner was the personal shower that they wanted for Babs that no one really uses and that's pretty much my crumbled in area Like I said, this area was, um, these builds were all early on in my gameplay, so I think this was around the second time that I played this, but yeah. Alright, back in Crumbledon, here is my second Crumbledon build. Uh, <laughs> this was also shortly after the second time I beat the game, so let's check it out. 
All right, flyover. So it's quite similar to the last one, but this time I, I did a little bit of, I made it a little bit more fancier, if you can see. All right, go ahead and land. Whatever. All right, this time around, you can see that the this part is still the same, but outside here, I expanded the wall in this direction. So this is outside of the base. The problem is, um, so this kept the, the regular monsters out, but when it came to the boss fights, the, the base attacks, the monsters still appeared inside here. So that was a downside to putting the wall out this way. Um, but yeah, I expanded the wall, made it iron all the way around, and I made this whole area here off limits to the monsters, the regular monster attacks. So yeah. The bar never changes. I kept it the same. Uh, Bab's father, Den, he worked hard to keep this bar, so I, I kept it the way it was. That's how they wanted it. Here is the smithy with a very low roof. So this was back in the day before I realized that they needed more roof space. <laughs> so the smithy, which is not being used by anyone. You have this room here, so small dorms next to each other with windows it's a little bit integrated dorms but you know what they don't mind so I don't mind this is the sweet uh, so this used to be Bab's room but now it's no one's room wall there okay cool just like before I took the logs from the area behind us and I made stairs upstairs a stairway upstairs I wasn't quite sure what I would do with this room, so I left it blank. So, here's our cool dorm. Had a couch here, just to make it nice. Hey, 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 hey. No running in the halls. Hey. Another cool dorm, so this fit the requirements for the, uh, during the game. I made a stairway upstairs, so to the third floor here. This is a cool private bedroom with its own shower. This used to be my room, but it's not anymore. Uh, don't really care. Another private bedroom and another private bedroom. So I kept the blueprints for Bab's room and just used it multiple times. I made a stairway up to the bar area up here so the NPCs can get up this way. As you can see, this bar is still intact because I didn't have to tear it apart. But yeah, they're up here starving because there's no food being created on this map. So every now and then I will go to Furrowfield and bring food back here for the NPCs so they can have food. Upstairs is my scenic shower here. On the bottom floor though, is the small pumping station. And right behind that is the cook room. So there's the kitchen and the gym. If you go up the stairs this way, there's the shower, the private shower. There's the relaxation room. The silver bar is standard, doesn't change. My God, you guys look pathetic. Do I have any food to give you? I do not. That is my personal supply. You guys can't have any. But yeah, that's one of my crumbledons. Uh, once again, if you guys are struggling for ideas, this was a simple one. I did it during the story mode and I never returned. So do a quick fly around. You guys can see it from here. Like I said, it's a little bit better than the previous one, but that's one of my Crumbledons. There's another one of my Crumbledon builds. I'm going to give you guys a flyover and a quick tour of it. Say hello. All right, boss says hello. Let's get this started. So, as you can see, over the time of playing the game, my versions of Crumbledon got better. Bigger and better. So, if you guys followed me before, you probably have seen this build. But I'm showing it now for the new page. 
this is my quick flyover so you can see my downstairs area here is all iron the silver bar area is silver the gold bar area is gold it's pretty self-explanatory is why I did it that way I used to have a wall here but I tore down the wall to this place and left it wide open for monsters to attack whenever they wanted to so um I got tired of waiting for them for level ups to happen so I um I just opened the place up and let the monsters attack once I turned everything down here into iron so the NPCs would come out here and they would fight the monsters and they would help me level up faster but um anyways after I did that I covered this area all iron and I wanted there to be as little space as possible so I covered all this area with building so you can see two beds I don't even have this many characters in this map but it's okay I wanted more beds and I wanted them to use them so that's what happened here beds 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 all the way down I had thoughts to turning these into like single private bedrooms so that way the NPCs can use all the rooms but um like I always say that's a problem for future me I turned the bar area into all iron so still the same design but now all iron over here you have a kitchen your mushroom kitchen which is all iron next to the dining room all iron except for the tables of course and the materials in them the iron makes these rooms stay indestructible so when the monsters attack they can't knock these rooms down they don't get inside of them and they can't destroy them over here is a uh, item shop so my sales guy here he's part of this map he sells things for me over here is the armor shop so weapons uh, equipment all that stuff he sells here for me so people buy he sells I expanded the base down here underneath the gold bar to make more room so I believe this is the workout room yeah the gym more beds but I haven't used these rooms yet so they're just empty for now Okay, you're getting annoying. Eat something, please. Sorry, guys. This guy is so rude. He wants to eat. I mean, I'm trying to give a tour of my place here. Over here, ladies' toilet. So on this side of the map, ladies' toilet. More rooms. They will remain empty because I do not plan on using all of them. Here's your wizard workshop. So I brought that in. So you can tell I came back here after the story. Men's toilet. The men use the bathroom over here. Alright. More bedrooms. Beds, beds, beds. I used to have windows here, but I got rid of the windows and just put brick, I mean iron. I have no idea why this light is here or how it got here. Don't think that's supposed to be here. This is my smithy shop now. I put it towards the back. What are you clowns doing? Oh, they're all in line for the shower. I only have one shower in this build. So, the scenic shower room with baths. So, they can take a bath and shower. And that is the downstairs area. Let's go up the top. So you can tell these guys will spend all night drinking and stuff and they love it. And I will let them do that. Up here I left this area free because I wasn't sure what to do with it. I just made it all silver. I knocked down the wall that I usually have here and just made it two blocks high. So nothing ever attacks over here so I left it like this. The silver bar. Standard. It's not well lit like the rest of the map. But it does its thing. It does its. It has its. Use, it's useful. Upstairs is the gold area. So I made the entire mountain here on this level gold with flights to match the gold bar. So all the way around. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. Down here, you can see down below into the living area down below. 
But anyways, I made this shorter, so I flattened this all the way around, turned it into gold, and I started putting lights all the way around just to make it shiny, stand out. So, the gold bar is standard, it's just like the blueprint wants it to be. Didn't add anything to it, I didn't take anything from it. So, just to show you guys my awesome dance moves, you wish you could do this. This is Dragon Quest's version of TikTok dancing. <laughs> but anyways, that's crumbled in, guys. Hey guys, it's Eddie. So we're back in another version of crumbled in. I'm gonna show you guys this build. So let's get started. Yo. All right, boss says hello. Oh, I love playing this on the PC so much better. All right, so this version of Crumbled In is um, it's actually pretty depressing. So I did some experimenting first time playing this on the PC. You can see my little area here. Like the last one, I have a wall. Well, maybe not like the last one, but I have a wall made of iron that kept the monsters out. That's what this was here for. Uh, they had actually they never made it down this far I made a separate wall here I made a, a, a gate there so, so there's two ways in on that side this is why I was saying earlier about the bar so the bar cannot be completely destroyed because this bar is permanent and so are one of the stools here this stool is permanent so you can't completely remove everything from this downstairs area but you can try I kept the toilet here there's a pathway up to the, the gold bar area here. But essentially, I moved everything over here. Oh, what are you guys doing? So the silver bar is still in the same location. I have a spot for them to drop influence for me. Over here, though, this was some experimentation. I wasn't really sure what I was doing with this. I just tried something different. So you have the mushroom cook room, which you can jump in and out the dining room I made it so that I can easily travel between these rooms the scenic shower right next to the scenic shower is a private bedroom so this used to be Bab's room but it's someone else's now over here you have the dorm a dorm and the dorm on the back side here this is all on the ground floor of this little structure so like I said, I was doing something different. I wanted to um, experiment and see how it, it would look without doing my usual build. So this pathway up was like this on purpose. I wanted them to go from here all the way up to the top floor. On the top floor is the bar. So I, I rebuilt the bar exactly as it was built down there, except it's smaller this time. So this bar is just like one or two bricks smaller block smaller I should say anyways that's the bar run along the side here I need to make a better walking path but along the side here you have the smithy the smithy's next to the to the gym the pumping station next to that is the relaxation room yeah relaxation room and over here was the fancy dorm that they wanted you to build. Like I said, the silver bar is standard, so is the private shower that they wanted for Babs, but she never used it. The golden bar is still standard. This is the, exactly how the game wants you to make it. And then, um,. That's pretty much this version of a Crumbledon. Like I said, it's very simple. I destroyed everything down here on the ground floor and I put it all up here. So even before I placed the wall here, the monsters took a while to get to us up here. But um, yeah, like I said, it's different. 